Ladies, ladies and gentlemen of the media, welcome to the Orlando Pirates uh, Media Open Day ahead of our weekend's uh, fixture <coughs> against the uh, Super Sports United. Um, I'd like to welcome my panel, uh, head coach, uh, coach Jose Rivera, as well as uh, team captain um, Innocent Mayana. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Just going to ask if you can both just give us uh, how the preparations have been going um, ahead of uh, this week's clash. Um, uh, you know, you uh, you'll answer from a player's perspective, and coach, uh, just uh, how your preparations are going so far. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, from the players' perspective, uh, preparations are going well so far. Uh, the chants are working hard. You know, the mood is good in camp. And we are excited and looking forward for the weekend's match. Uh, very important match for us as players. Very important for the club and we know what we have to do. Thank you. Uh, same In the same line, uh, one more week. Uh, we're happy after the managed to qualify to the next round in the previous tournament and now really looking to have the opportunity to, to face Supersport and have the chance to reduce the distance in the, in the table with them and um, fully motivated and, and we're going to be uh, yeah, more than prepared. Well now uh, take questions from the floor. As Pernod, we've got a roving mic. Please identify yourself as well as the media company you represent prior to asking your question. Are there any questions from the floor? Coach uh, Benjamin Renda, Football Life. Uh, my question is simple, Coach. This is more or less like a top of the table crash. Um, mm -hmm. The three points, we, as you have said, close the gap on the second position, but also fighting for that Champions League spot. How important is this game? Is it like a cup final to you, or is it just like any other game? As you have normally said, you take one game at a time. Um, we, we, we will play finals until the end. Uh, in, in the league, in the net bank, um, every game is going to be crucial for all of us. The ones who are playing for the relegation, the ones who are playing for the, for the top positions, for the, for the possibility to play in Africa next season, and it, it goes without saying that for Pirates it's, uh, it's very important to find ourselves in that position in the end of the season. Uh, there's more teams uh, fighting for the same objective with us uh, in this moment, and Supersport is the one with more advantage. So like I said, the, uh, it's an opportunity to to, to get three points and, and at the same time that our immediate opponent is not getting the points. That's it. So uh, when we don't play against them, we are waiting and expecting that they don't get it in their own mm -hmm. games. This time is our opportunity to do it ourselves and don't lose that opportunity to reduce the distance. It's simple like this. We don't have to check our phones the day after to see what's doing the, the opponent. We have the chance to do it ourselves to get the tree and make sure that they don't. So that's all. Uh, after that game, whatever happened, still a lot of games to play. So is, is a final? No, it's not a final. There's still much more games to play and a lot of points to play. But it's one of those moments of the season that will determine probably where we are in the end. Do we have any further questions? May I ask that you just uh, uh, raise your hands? So that I don't have to continue to ask every other question if there are any questions. Noted, noted. Is there anyone else? Noted, noted. Also, speak to the last year. Coach, uh, in Japan, there's three times. Um, the first game um, in Tuane, I think they had like 28% position, no shots on target, and Gavin Hunt said you guys were going to chase for the title at that point. Um, do you expect a similar Super Sport United coming just to defend at Orlando Stadium? Or do you prepare for something else going into this game? Uh, I think the, the game you mentioned it was played, I think, the 21st of August or somewhere there. It's been a long time since that, that fixture. I think both teams experience uh, different uh, kind of evolutions. It's true that Supersport used to be usually the same team, the same style, 
it changes a bit depending on the profiles that they can they can put on the field. Uh, but it's a it's a it's a big opportunity for both teams. So I don't expect a conservative super sport at the same time because they have a chance as well to to to, to make a big gap in between in between both and. Uh, if they don't take it, it's going to be long the rest of the season. Um, so I think it's going to be, a, I don't want to say pound to pound, but uh, they, they, they need to do something else than defense for sure. Even though, again, they are a very well organized team. They know what they do in the transitions. They know how to occupy the box very well. And they have excellent players in attack. So I think it's going to be a nice game. I hope it's going to be a nice game uh, with alternatives for both. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to try to obviously reduce their strengths as much as possible. But I think it's a different game. Uh, with uh, We are much more close both to the objective. So that's going to play also during the 90 minutes. That game that you mentioned was in the beginning. And I think we were both teams looking and trying to find the uh, our, our style, our way to do the things, even though, like I said, super sport and, and, and Gavin, Gavin is, a, is a very experienced coach and uh, yeah, they, they, they know very well what they do and it's very, very profitable for them. Coach? Uh, see you from kickoff. Um, coach, I understand Terence took a bit of a knock uh, in the previous game. Uh, as well as I didn't understand so well. Sorry. So yeah, um, I understand Terence um, took a bit of a knock in the previous game. Yeah. Um, as well as as well as Kemet. Uh, in terms of um, returning to training, being involved, how involved have they, have they been? They're fully involved. Hmm. <coughs> Thanks, uh, Ino. Sabo from ENCA. You are also going to be coming up against uh, your teammate, as in Zakelele Pasa, in terms of um, preparing and trying to obviously stop uh, their attack. Does it help that you are coming up against someone that you know very well? Thanks. Yeah, um, I mean, first, we don't know who they're going to play. You know, we will see uh, on match day before kickoff. But I mean, to answer your question, um, yeah, we, we played with Ziggs, we, we know him very well. But I don't think it will make a, you know, a such a big difference because he's playing with new teammates, um, new pattern of play, new style of play. So you know, ours is to prepare for them uh, collectively, uh, prepare for them so that we make sure that we utilize our strength and make sure that we we stop their strength against us. You know, so yeah, I mean, look, we uh, we're looking forward to seeing him. You know, one of our own. But yeah, I mean, the focus right now is preparing the team to make sure that we, we get the, the three points. Buenos dias, coach. Um, yeah. Coach, Buenos dias. Um, on Saturday you played 120 minutes. Yeah. Would you say that that game, despite the fact that it went to extra time, it gave you an idea in terms of your squad, manage, fitness, mental strength, going ahead with the preparations for this upcoming match against Super Sport? Yeah, well, it was a, we, we experienced that a difficult moment. Uh, I know you, 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 you just measure the difficulties in terms of the level of the team that you have in front of you, but football is much more complex than that. And we experienced a difficult moment, but we did it there together. And we managed to solve the situation together. We all suffer. It's, it's a fact that there was a difficult moment in the second half, but we managed to, to, to overcome the difficulties. Uh, that's. For me, I'm, like I said after the game, I'm an optimistic person. So I try to take the positive, and the positive is again we did it together. Um, other teams didn't, and we did it. So in the long term, it's going to help us as a group. We we always grow in, in difficult moments in our life, and football is not exceptional. And um, mentally, uh, physically, also understand that we can play. That time, you know, 120 minutes chasing one goal, 
do it before the penalties. There's a lot of positive things out of the game. Do I want to play extra time? No. Obviously, I, I would like to finish the games early. But we managed to do it again, to do it together, and it's going to be helpful until the end in terms of our mentality. And then the fitness, obviously, the players who play 120, well, they, need, they need some certain adjustments uh, this week in terms of uh, load because it's not frequent that you have to play 30 more minutes uh, in, in the games. But everything was positive. It, it was the scenario that we were looking for. No, we we rather to, to finish the game in 30 minutes, 3 minutes in the half time, and that's it. But it was not. But again, we found a difficult scenario, and we managed to 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 solve the problems that we found there. And I think it's going to be, uh, like you said, in terms of our mentality and uh, as an experience as a group, because maybe we are in the same scenario in, in 20 days or in 20-something days against uh, our next opening in a knockout game. So everything was positive in the end, obviously, because we got the result. So we are more prepared this week than the last week. Tim Ashavala, from Sports Coach. This one is just out of my curiosity. I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing teams reducing the age group, um, over the age bracket of players. Oh, come on, coach. <laughs> we, we know that you've just settled in into the country, you're adapting with the style of play and everything. Can you give us your philosophy around the age group, the usage of the youth? Because now we're seeing now the age has drastically dropped from the last time we spoke about the age, we're speaking about the 18-year-old, now it has gone down to 16. Where's your headspace around youth, incorporation, and your philosophy around the age bracket? Without going so so deep, deep, the age is just just a number in the end, and in football is the same. I don't really I have not so much. But I have to I have to answer it in two different ways this question. Uh, for, as a European, the age is nowadays is not a problem anymore, and the reason is the level of. Uh, of uh, knowledge of the of the players that are with 17, 18 years old, um, about not only about understanding of the game, also uh, sport education. Let's say how to become a professional football player. How early they start to live like a professional football players in the elite academies. And uh, probably here we have uh, more more difference in between the clubs and the teams in the academies. We're trying to do the things in that in that way. Here, so the players can arrive at the stage of 18, 17, 19, 20 years old, well prepared to do the step without any any doubt or afraid of fail because it's easy to make numbers, it's easy to play young players. And for me as a coach, it could be also nice to play, you know. Every time I can introduce one player when the result is done and then I get the numbers and you can say that Ribeiro is... is it's really, really pushing the, the youngsters, but we need to play those guys when they are ready to, to, to make an impact and have continuity, not, not just a hope. We need to be sure and we need to prepare those guys to, to, to have a long career, you know, and it's not, it's not that easy, like, just play them and let's see what happens. But as a philosophy, I don't care so much if he's 30 or if he's 20 or if he's 18, as long as I feel that can be helpful for the club, for the future of the club, and, um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's basically right. They need to be prepared. Otherwise, like I said, it's, it's just uh, you know, looking for a personal record in the end, and I'm, I'm not looking for that. Thank you, Pat. I will ask you for a question. If you're not going to take it, then, to, then, guys, then take it. Coach, being a bit on the fringes, uh, is it because of his fitness levels or is Marco giving you something else and try to pull back? No, that. Uh, that, that Tabiso is, uh, is uh, ready to play. He was on the bench, if I'm not mistaken, last two games. Uh, but 
yeah, we play we play Baseka uh, in the right, but if, if we play him, it's because he can play there and he can. It's not. I think it's not the first time in the football history that a <laughs> left football player is playing the right and not innovating. Uh, and yeah, obviously he can he can give us different strengths. Tabiso was was playing a lot early in the season uh, when when we played with uh, with two wingbacks and. Tabiso and Koto were there in that position in most of our games. Sandu then coming after injury as well. Now we are playing in a different shape. And uh, we're trying to, to find the, the players who can help us the best in, in every role. And then there are moments also. Uh, Monjane is, is coming after injury. It takes time sometimes to, to get the proper, proper rhythm, to, to be prepared, to go full. and. Uh, he's a very important player for us, and he's gonna uh, he's gonna be in the future a very, but very, very important player for us. Uh, but it's the same that, like I said, for about the youngsters before, we need to play the players when they, we feel that they are hundred percent ready to play, and they they, uh, they are fighting for the minutes, minutes, and not just throw throw them on the field and see what happens. And that's that's what we try to do, and. Uh, yeah, uh, Tabiso is, is doing the things well, and in, in the last game, for example, when we changed our shape again, the, his contribution in the right was was crucial for us in order to open the field, to be vertical and threatening there in the lateral corridor, and and you can see Tabiso in the future as well on the field, hopefully. Uh, Vincent from Espanol, Sport News. Uh, to the coach and the captain. With Sundowns winning yesterday, it simply means that uh, Parrot is uh, mathematically is out of the winning the league title. Uh, now my question is, uh, when the season started, uh, we saw what happened with the MTN 8, Parrot won it, and it seemed as if you know you had what it took to, to match Sundowns point for pound to finally end Sundowns uh, dominance. Why do you think during the course of the season uh, you, you lost out on the on the league race, where, where do you think you, you, you like? Uh, obviously, we, we, we are so far uh, from in, in terms of our points. Uh, one of the reasons is we, we have to accept it also that they are doing an excellent job. Uh, I think they won 19 games, 19 victories already in the league. Uh, it's an excellent record. And sometimes happened that someone is just winning, winning, winning. That's one of the reasons why we are far. And then we do our own analysis. Uh, uh, it's not my role, obviously, analyze why why they are uh, getting those results. Uh, and I, I I can say that I know why we are we are far. Obviously, imagine if I say that I don't know. I do know. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you. There's a uh, multiple reasons, there's not only one reason, there were periods where we couldn't manage to to get the average of points uh, per month or per week, or per two weeks that the pipe is supposed to get. Uh, we have a first part of the season where we were, without any discussion, the better team in the MTN during the whole trophy, in every, every, every game we played there. But we couldn't maintain the same level of uh, performance in the league, and in that period, we 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 gave an advantage to our opponents that we couldn't recover anymore. It's a fact. Uh, but yeah, we know the reasons. We are working on it, uh, but now we are focusing in the challenges that we have ahead of us, which is uh, get that second second position. You know badly with all of our strength to, to, to finish there because it's the maximum that we can achieve uh, this season and in the end of the season we will have time to to analyze and, and realize the way that we can reduce that gap. That is, is a fact already. Yeah, um, I mean look, uh, from a player's <laughs> point of view, the coach has already said, you know, when the season started we undoubtedly, they, you know, we were there uh, the better team throughout the first competition, which was MTN8. And after that, we 
you know, we sat down, we had team meetings, we analyzed, and we saw why uh, we didn't have the same consistently in the in the league. Uh, we do know the reasons, and you know, we've been working hard um, on those reasons. We also do know that we, you know, this office season together with the coach and the technical team with the style of play. So we are building, you know, we are building something concrete and and solid that will help us in the future. But you know, uh, like the coach has said, right now at this moment, our focus is finishing um, in the Champions League spots and and making sure that we compete in that space in the near future. We'll take the final two questions. So for your hand. Um, it's covered. Okay. Anyone else? <laughs> Coach, um, <clears throat> just to follow up on my colleague's question around evidence. <clears throat> um, we saw him last week. He played, uh, he provided an assist. How close is he from, from being a regular and starting matches now? Uh, difficult to say how close. Uh, the important thing is that he came in and he contributed. He's helping us. He's a evidence. He's a example. He's a professional. As a as a human being, I have to say it's it's working hard every day. Very humble. He's never never complaining about lack of minutes recently. There's many reasons. Again, he was was injured in, in two different periods this season, so he couldn't have the continuity, but he's a, he's a high potential prospect uh, as, a, as a number nine, and I'm 100% I'm sure without any doubt that evidence is going gonna, is gonna to come to the party soon and make an impact soon in, in Pirates and in, in South African football because he has the conditions. He just need to as, as the rest of the team, the rest of us, to be more consistent and and he's going to get opportunities. Uh, it's about the guy to and the moment of the team as well. We have to be fair sometimes. It, we cannot expect that evidence will come in a in a moment like difficult like that like and, and suddenly make, you know, uh, win the game for us. He did a good job. He contributed. He was doing a fantastic job without the ball. And... Uh, and I hope in the future we can have the, the space for him to be more consistent in, in our star 11 and give him a proper chance to, to, to be regularly the least difficult because we have, uh, like I mentioned many times, uh, in his position uh, there's many possibilities for the coach. And, and uh, yeah, that's why evidence is not, evidence is not in the star 11, not because he's not doing enough. It's just because of me in this case that I'm, I'm taking other players in, in his position, but the guy is doing, is doing everything very well.